one, today I'm going to introduce how to bind different receivers to T16D and T12D. T16D comes with the R16F receiver, T12D comes with the R12F receiver. They're bound by default, but T16D and T12D are compatible with many Redlink receivers, which are shown on the screen. For transmitter, I take T12D as an example in this tutorial. For receiver, I take R8EF and R8FGH as examples, and the binding steps are similar for all the compatible receivers, and there are two steps in total. 1. Select Receiver Protocol. 2. Bind. And first, enter main menu. Receiver Settings. RF Settings. And make sure the module selection is set to Internal. And for Protocol, we can refer to the table on the screen. Different receivers support a different receiver protocol. If the receiver protocol is wrong, the binding will fail. And that is to see, for R8EF receiver, we can only select FHSS v1 protocol. And for R8FGH, we can select v1 or v2 protocol. And let's bind R8EF to T12D first. For R8EF, we need to select FHSS v1 protocol. And potentially it defaults to uh, v2.1. And then power on R8EF. I collect a battery to the receiver. Make sure the polarity is not reversed. And then keep a distance of about 30 centimeters between the transmitter and receiver. And there's a tiny black binding button on the side of the receiver. Press and hold it. Until the LED flashes fast. A solid knot of the receiver indicates the band is complete. And we can see the signal tower on the screen of T12D, which shows the bending is successful. If bending fails, the AOD of the receiver will keep flashing slowly. Please repeat the bending steps. Then we bind R8FGH to T12D, and we can see there is no signal tower. And for protocol, we can select FHS V1 or V2 protocol. And I select V2 protocol. At the same time, we can select 4MS or 3MS server speed for digital server. And then power on R8 FGH. Collect the battery to any one channel of R8 FGH. Make sure the polarity is not reversed. And we can see there is no simple tower. Since R8 FGH has two antennas, so we need to keep a distance about 60 centimeters between the transmitter and receiver. And there is a tiny black binding button on the top of R8 FGH, and press and hold it until the LED flashes fast. The solid light of the receiver indicates the band is complete. And we can see the second tower on the screen of T12D, which means the band is successful. If bending fails, the LED of the receiver will keep flashing slowly. Please repeat the bending steps. So you can refer to the above steps to bind the compatible receivers to T12D or T16D. And that's all about how to bind different receivers to T12D.